Jerry Breck is here from Benjamin Moore. Thanks for joining us. I love having you here any day of the week. Thank you. It makes a lot of sense to have you here today, though, because we do do a lot of DIY, and there are so many folks that are out there thinking, I would love to have a new kitchen. I want to be on trend. I can't do the full renovation or yeah. full gut. So. There are simple things you can do. Paint is a great way to refresh your kitchen. Absolutely, and whether you send your cabinets out to yeah. be professionally painted or you want to do it yourself, it's still a really economical way. And you can, as someone said to me earlier, you can save that money for a trip to Hawaii. There you go. <laughs> Or, you know, anywhere else. Just paint else. the cabinets. Just paint the cabinets. So uh -huh. I think it's a really important thing to think about when you are renovating a kitchen. If you're not going to be getting it completely, changing the layout, consider it. Because a lot yeah. of us have really great wood cabinets. They're just kind of dated looking. Right. And when you paint them, they just look like a complete transformation. Absolutely. We've seen some great ones from our viewers. So keep yes. sending those in. I, I love, love to see that. how people are creative yes. and doing things like using paint uh, yeah. in order to just refresh their space. And kitchen renovations are the biggest ones that we get yes. questions about. So I think we spend so much time in there. So I really wanted to show sort of a little pretty vignette of something you can do with the painted cabinet. And I have yeah. used this guy before. I used Storm Cloud Gray, which is a nice green. Oh, um, it is. Tones, it is a bit of a, um, bit of a sort of a retro feel. Yeah. Now these were just um, unfinished cabinets that you can buy at lumber stores and build your own kitchen and then paint them yourself. But I'm also gonna show how you can take existing ones and repaint them. Right. But we've got the nice bamboo countertop, which is cool. And then of course it's the accessories that go along with it. So yes. for the back wall, I used Made of the Mist, which is a nice green color in Aura Bath and Spa, so you can clean it. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to get some of the bright yellow colors because I was so inspired by Ricardo's line of right. kitchen accessories online, which you can actually get at many, many stores across Canada. But right. I fell in love with this bright lemon yellow, and I'm not ready to let the summer go yet. I think oh, that's why. <laughs> yellow is a great kitchen color, and I think that getting accessories, getting new accessories, is a really good, reasonably priced way to Absolutely. freshen up your space. Especially when it's something like this. So Look Ricardo says this actually decomposes. The it bowl. decomposes. It's completely made with biodegradable that is vegetable so cool. products. So and you can still put it in the dishwasher because that was my first question. Does yeah. that mean I have to hand wash it? No. no. You can dishwash it. Yeah. So. And then bury it, and it turns into garden. Exactly. <laughs> or, it's like a <laughs> composted. It's made of veggies. Like maybe I can eat it. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's completely natural. So there's a full line That's of cool. those with really lovely colors as well. And then I just have to mention this because um, Ricardo was just telling me that he was inspired by a Benjamin Moore paint can oh, nice. for this for that? container. Yeah, I love, I love that. that. The same size. So I just want to show you some of the ways that you can bring paint into your life in a different scenario, in a different style. Right. So this first one is a very modern look because it's high gloss, very simple lines, and I use advanced high gloss in a color called Blue Echo. I don't know if you can get the reflection, but I just used a brush for this, uh -huh. and it just looks fantastic. Lay the cabinet flat. I'm going to give you some more tips on actually painting them. But if you want to look at a really beautiful um, kitchen set on screen we have a really gorgeous blue province blue kitchen yes. with Kohler and and they use advanced high gloss for that and you get that really modern look but it's still a little bit um, transitional so it doesn't yes. have to be high doesn't have to be completely modern and flat you can still have some trim yeah blue is an interesting one because it can read as very traditional or very contemporary or very contemporary so, exactly. yeah it's a good, it's a good transition it's very popular color. right now I think we're, because of that because it, it's very transitional now another look that we see quite a lot of is antiquing. So when you go from your bright white modern white kitchen, yes. but then you go for a more tone. This is pale oak. Yeah, I love and it. And then I've just done a really simple antiquing um, inside the cabinets here, which again I will show how to do. But I was inspired by this kitchen that I worked on a few years ago, a friend of mine, and they had this gorgeous antique finish, as you can see on screen. So it's a really nice feeling with the stainless steel. Mm -hmm. So again, antiquing it can just make it look a little bit, um, a little bit more traditional when you right. antique those. Um, those lines. Absolutely. I love this last Isn't look. Like, this what great? would you call that? I wanted this to be more distressed, like a farmhouse uh -huh. kitchen look. So this right. is a really fun do it yourself. And again, um, inspired by another beautiful Kohler kitchen with the dark gray. So it's that very, again, it's that farmhouse look that we're seeing so much of in the kitchen mm -hmm. that many of us bring out in different ways, whether it's with lots of color or yeah. just with grays and neutrals. But I really love this, um, this technique. And again, it's only paint, so you can always paint over again and go for a solid look. A few more. That's right. Years right. down the road, if Paint you want. Paint and then go to Hawaii. There you go. So exactly. I like that. I really like that option. <laughs> well, while we're in the kitchen, are you shopping for new appliances? The full collection of Frigidaire professional appliances is available at Sears. To get you started, our audience will all take home a $50 Sears gift card. We're also going to drop a $250 gift card after the show. If you are sitting at home right now,
in your living room, cityline.ca, for your chance to win a $1,000 Sears gift card and a four appliance Frigidaire professional prize pack. That's worth Ooh. over $8,500. So that is online, cityline.ca. Stay with us, more coming up. Woo!